Hey, what is up guys, it's Fontech over here with another video and in this one guys, I'm going to be comparing an iPhone 6 to an iPhone SE, this time running iOS 11.2 So let's see if any improvement on the iPhone 6 is side Hi guys, so first up, I'm gonna boot them both up here at the same time Alright So, we saw the Apple logo first on the iPhone 6 And yeah guys, the iPhone 6 is screen uh, as an issue, so yeah, I do know guys if you want to point it out that the screen isn't that good, I understand. So I'm waiting here, I expect the iPhone SE to be faster, well, definitely faster, but how much faster, this time usually this phone used to take 20 to 30 seconds more than any other device, now the iPhone S6 definitely improved there. Alright guys, so first up here I'm gonna test the CPU, on both, run benchmark here, and as always guys, and I go right onto this course. And I guess the iPhone 6 finally finished the test. It took like about 45 seconds more than the iPhone SE. So, uh, single core score, mm, 1000 more. Multi core score, about that doubles. Like that's like 600 less than double. But yeah, so definitely a difference between the A8 and the A9 chip here. Alright, guys, so everything's close in the background with both here. And let's just go for the speed test. First up, calendar. Slightly faster on the iPhone SE. Clock, exactly the same, I think. And that's actually good for the iPhone 6. Camera, I think identical. Right, guys, so next up, weather. Slightly faster on the iPhone SE, but faster. Next up, let's go for Safari here on both. And okay, yeah, so faster on the SE, and let's just Go for something else. iPhone, for example. Yeah, iPhone 6 was actually faster. Alright guys, next up, home. Okay, iPhone 6 wasn't that bad. Health. Okay, slightly faster on the iPhone SE, definitely. Stocks. Slightly faster on the SE. And... Let's go for some third-party apps, games. Let's go for Google Earth first, before games. It's a heavy app anyway, and yeah, it takes some time with the iPhone 6. So I say it's faster. Next up, Rush. A game here. Okay, yeah, definitely way faster on the iPhone SE. So iPhone 6 is really slow when it comes to loading games, but and then it's gonna get a load and everything, so at the end you're gonna play the game and everything's gonna be alright. And the experience should be smooth on both. Next up guys, Temper Run 2. Launching the app felt faster on the iPhone SE, 6 was kinda hesitant there. And loading it is faster on the SE as well. I mean, the load had finished and this thing is still in the loading form. Yeah, iPhone 6 is definitely taking some time. Alright, moving out. Next up, Space Frontier. Yeah, both taking some time. I see a little bit uh, faster. Definitely, definitely faster than I see. Played, I lost, and then the phone loaded. All right. Next up, guys, Chameleon. Yeah, as always, SE lo loads that thing faster, definitely. And this game is actually kind of light, so it shouldn't be an issue on the iPhone 6. But as I said, guys, iPhone 6 takes some time to load, but then when it loads, it loads. And basically, when you're playing games, that means you're free, guys. I mean. You have enough time to waste for the game to load, so I think the phone would be okay for some people. Guys, now just launch the App Store. Definitely faster than the SE again. Let's go for iTunes Store. And. Alright. Definitely. SE as well. So, yeah, guys, now for some RAM management. Calendar, 
had to refresh on the six. Clock had to refresh on the six. Okay, the six has one gigabyte of RAM. Camera had to refresh as well. Where this has two gigs, so uh, clear advantage there for the a refresh as well. Clear advantage for the SE, as I said. Safari. Oh yeah, so basically every app is refreshing on the 6, whereas on the iPhone SE everything is just in the background. Whoa! Alright. Health. A refresh on the 6 again. Oops. I'm not painting it anymore. Stocks. A refresh on the 6. Google Earth. A refresh on the 6. Rush, a refresh on the six, and let's see. Oh, I see. Kept it in the background. Good job there. And again, I close another app. Temperon, a refresh on the six. Wait a second. That's it. It wasn't a refresh on the SE. So yeah, that's good for the SE. So definitely iOS 11 with one gigabyte of RAM doesn't really work out. So you should guys have at least two gigs to have a good experience when it comes to multitasking. Okay, uh, whoa, so basically everything had to refresh on the iPhone 6 till now. One more. I hope that the iPhone 6 did really do something, keep something in the background, but it doesn't really look like. So, let's go for iTunes Store. As that was recent, oh my god, not even iTunes. Let's go for App Store, which I re recently launched as well. I'm searching for that, yeah. So, so iPhone S, uh, iPhone 6 failed to keep every app in the background. Nothing actually was kept on the iPhone 6. So one gigabyte of RAM, guys, on iPhone, on iOS 11.2 or 11 in particular, is really a terrible idea you, if you want to multitask. So uh, it can't really hold anything in the background. Where the SE was a beast, and it did really outperform the iPhone X10 in the last test I did. So if you want to see, see that, guys, definitely check it in the link down below. So that was it guys, I'm just gonna go for onto the benchmark now. All right guys, so now I'm just gonna go for onto the benchmark test. I made sure everything is close in the background, just going for a test here. All right, and as always, I'm gonna just speed things up here. All right, guys. There we have it, the scores. Double, double the score on the iPhone SE. Um, 3D wise, iPhone SE outperformed the six. UX way higher, CPU okay, slightly higher though. RAM almost the same, but just a two thousand difference. And that's actually nothing compared to the fact that this phone has two gigs of RAM, has only one. And that, again, guys, I'm sorry for the iPhone six screen and just showing you guys here the specs so the iphone se has 12 megapixels where the other phone has eight so apple a chip apple a9 chip 11.2 both and as you can see so iphone se is definitely better in every aspect except, except for the fact that the keyboard is really small on this phone but if you get used to it it's a perfect phone so hope you guys like the video Subscribe for more content and peace out.